It's a great story, Larissa. We're going to talk more about that. Let's do it. As we learned earlier in the show, once Little Miss Oldsmar, always Little Miss Oldsmar. Well, once a mayor, always a mayor. Doug Beavis used to be that. You're still very much involved in the community here in Oldsmar. The development of the downtown, I know you guys are so excited. It just took a long time, but it, moving in the right direction finally, right? As Mayor Seidel said, it's been 20 years in the making, so uh, we're excited about it. Not only are we walkable, but we're golf cartable, too. Uh, Tom Price owns the uh, Oldsmar Tap House and Golf Cart Cafe. He's the one that spearheaded golf cart-friendly community, so you can pretty much go everywhere in Oldsmar, south of Tampa Road, on a golf cart. So well, that's great. We know something about Florida residents. They do like their golf they, carts. They love that's their for golf sure. carts. In my hands here, I'm holding tickets to Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. Yeah. That is coming up October 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Tampa Bay Downs, which we haven't talked much about. That's in Oldsmar, too. Um, this is a huge event uh, as we are showing you some parks and things like that. Let's talk about Oktoberfest real quickly, though. Sure. We actually used to hold it right here in this park, but it got so big. It's probably the largest Oktoberfest in the Tampa Bay area. Probably 20,000 people over the weekend. We do log sawing, stein holding, keg hurling, all yeah. kinds of great stuff. Yeah. This isn't your parents' Oktoberfest. Right. You guys really go all out for this. Yeah, Again, that's do. happening at Tampa Bay Downs coming up October 22nd, 23rd, 24th. And uh, you can head over to OktoberfestTampaBay.com for more details yeah, on that. It's a great time. Uh, the development, as we mentioned, uh, you know, I'm thinking of downtown St. Pete. I'm thinking of Seminole Heights. I'm thinking of places that have really gotten in gear with making that walkability there for people to check out so many things. Yeah, I mean, you want to live, work, and play. And I mean, that's what this generation, your generation wants. They want to basically come home and not get out of it, not use their car again. Maybe they live and work at home um, and they can eat and have restaurants and, and things like that right there in their own community. So. I can speak to that. That's exactly what people want. You know, if it's an Uber drive away or, or a golf cart drive away, that is what people are looking for. Yeah. We and can't say enough about that. No, sure. and we need the density, and it's uh, high-end luxury apartments that are going to be there, and you see them popping up all over Tampa Bay, and that's that's what people want. But they it's, also want to be able to eat and shop there, too. It, it's growing so much here in Oldsmar. Uh, did you ever drive an Oldsmobile? Is that like a prerequisite to becoming mayor? Did you have to have one? I actually drove an Oldsmobile. My grandmother gave me an Oldsmobile, and so, yeah, I have driven an Oldsmobile. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dia, like, we thought he was going to say something different, right? He's I had an 8-track tape player in it, too, by the way. 8-track, too. 8-track, too. He's Doug Beavis, former mayor here. Pretty cool stuff, huh? Absolutely.